So I've built the world's first holographic Green Lantern power ring. And you can see here, it's generating this sort of holographic laser line effect. Uh, let me go ahead and zoom out here. You can see that the lines are in fact just in free space. I can shake it around, you can still see them. Um, let me go ahead and try to adjust them here. That looks like the lights are a little off. Uh, let's see here. There we go. So this is still a, a functional prototype. Um, but it's pretty neat, you know, these lines, these green laser lines are existing in free space, uh, which is sort of similar to the actual Green Lantern, how he can create these constructs of light, uh, sort of just floating from his ring. Uh, and that's essentially what I've done here, is created a floating light image. And I do apologize, this is a prototype, so the the laser is a bit finicky. Uh, it seems to misalign quite a bit because I just have it taped on at the moment while I'm testing it. Um, but you can see here, floating image. So let me go ahead and kind of go through what exactly is happening uh, and how I built this. So this has a few components to it. Let me go ahead and take it apart and I'll show you. So the first obviously are gonna be these two laser diodes uh, here and here. Uh, again, they're just taped on at the moment. This is a 3D printed ring. <laughs> uh, it's pretty big for a ring, as you can see, it sticks out about a few inches, maybe about two inches or so. Um, so it is kind of bulky, but I'm going to work on kind of getting it smaller. Uh, but again, we have these two laser diodes. They just shoot straight out. Um, if we were to power this on without all of the components turning on, so if I just turn on the laser here, um, and you might hear the fan whirring, is, uh, whizzing as well. Uh, but you'll see it's just two lasers. But you're not seeing a beam here. Uh, that's because we have the sort of secret component that makes that visible beam uh, turned off at the moment. Oh uh, yeah, so two laser beams. Then we have a fan here, which I'll explain why there's a fan. Um, and then on the other side, you'll see this other circuit board. Uh, so this actually powers this ceramic disc. So this whole setup, this circuit board and this little ceramic disc, this is an ultrasonic humidifier. Uh, these are about five, six, seven dollars online. Uh, essentially what they do is they use this wick, which is uh, on the underside here, it goes, slides right in there. Uh, this is just a cotton wick, so it, it holds water pretty well. Uh, think about like a sponge. And this disc vibrates at, I think, 110 kilohertz, so 110,000 times a second. Uh, and that those vibrations actually cause water to eject out. So it's essentially, you can think about it like a fog machine. Uh, it's a humidifier, so it's creating a, a stream of water mist. So there's still droplets, right? It's not actual vapor. Um, the vapor would be gas, which you wouldn't be able to see, but this is technically just very tiny water droplets. So let me go ahead and actually try to see if I can power that component on sort of directly, just so you can see that. Okay, so like I was saying, uh, we have the ultrasonic humidifier connected to the driver board with this cotton wick, which I've just re-wet uh, because I think it was evaporated uh, and, and dried up. And so essentially what you'll see here is the stream of mist that comes out. So. This is good. Uh, if we move around, the mist stream will also move with it. Uh, so that's not good because it's a ring, right? So I'm moving my hand around. That's going to create sort of a turbulent flow, right? So you'll see here, the mist is moving. However, to get around that problem, what I've done is added this fan component. So this fan does two things. Uh, well, it does one thing. It creates turbulent flow. That turbulent flow does two things it will create uh, an invisible stream. So it takes that thick fog, disperses it, makes it basically invisible to the human eye. So let's go ahead and power both of those on. The fan creates turbulent flow, which does two things. It takes that thick fog and creates sort of a thin invisible layer um, that's not really visible to the human eye. 
and it creates it pushing in one direction always. So even if I shake around, it's still shooting out in that direction. Uh, so let's go ahead and power both of those components on at once, and I'll show you what I mean here. Just gotta add this wick back. So again, this is a prototype. It's kind of annoying to use at times. And I'm having a problem with this wire that I'm using to split the power. Uh, but let's see, hopefully it should be working now. So you'll see here that thick fog, and then it's invisible here. You can't really see it. But with the lasers, because they're so intense, right? Their beam is so intense, you can see that fog that's, be uh, I'm sorry, you, you don't see the fog, but you can see the beam. And then once you get past the point where the fog is being generated, you don't see the beam anymore. So if I pull out further here, I can only see the beam up until a certain point, and then I can no longer see it. So it's essentially floating in free space, and I can shake it around and still see the beam fine. Uh, sorry for this kind of choppy video. Uh, this thing is really falling apart on me, <laughs> but I figure it's cool and I just wanted to show sort of what's possible in the world of cosplay or like DIY. Um, these things are, you know, real. Like we can we can make the things that we want, uh, that we want to see, the cool sci-fi type things. Uh, and this is definitely something I definitely want to keep improving on and working on. Um, and hopefully, I'll have a smaller version that's maybe not as noisy with that fan, um, and one that's <laughs> definitely not falling apart on me all the time. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, I think this is super cool, right? It's like a holographic, holographic, uh, that's not really the right word, but holographic green lantern ring um, that's creating a floating image in free space. Um, I think it's going to be really awesome for cosplay, for just honestly as like a little toy kind of thing. You know, just something to play with. Um, and as I work to improve the model, hopefully I can scale it down, get rid of all these bulky components. Um, and yeah, it'll be a Green Lantern power ring. But let me know what you guys think. Um, ways I can improve it. If uh, you guys are interested in seeing something else made, I can try that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.